Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel for my new subscribers. Hi, how are ya? This is me, Nightmare Bliss. Nightmare Bliss is my channel where I do unboxings, reviews, food, beverages, hair, makeup, skincare, all kinds of fun stuff. Today, I have something very interesting. Now, those of you who have been watching me for a little while might know that when I film in my dining room here, or in my kitchen, you hear like a water fountain in the background, right? People have commented on it. They're like, oh, I love that water fountain in the background. That was actually this, which is a water fountain that I have for my dogs. This one I've had forever. Um, the filter thingy is starting to break to pieces on it. I've, I've seriously had this thing for seven or eight years. So I went on Amazon and I decided that I was going to look for a new doggy fountain because I just figured it's time for a new doggy fountain. Plus, I can maybe put this one downstairs or something like that or in my bedroom and fall asleep to the water sound. I don't know. Anyway, I was in the market for a new doggy fountain. I've really found that cleaning the one I had was difficult. I got it from a friend who got it for his dog and it turned out he had a big giant dog and it was too small for his dog. He said, do you want it? And I said, sure. So I didn't even buy the other one. I actually got it from someone I knew. And no, it wasn't Jamie. Uh, someone I know here in the Poconos. And so he gave it to me. So that was cool. I didn't have to buy that one. This one I bought. So this is Vekin, V-E-K-E-N, Cube Flower Pet Fountain, 2.5 liters. I was a little nervous because I saw the box and I'm like, oh my God, it looks so small. And then I looked and I'm like, I guess it's not that much smaller than this one and I do only have my five dogs now five little toy dogs so we are gonna open this and see what the dealio is with this thing I have not um, looked at this at all yet I opened it and went oh there's some kind of there's a nice little thing that you get it has little flowers on it at first I was like what is this I don't know but it's like a little rubber mat that you can put on your floor to protect from the splashy splashy of the water fountain. And if you're wondering what kind of dogs I have, if you're new here, I have a a little mixed breed puppy who is like a um, Shih Tzu mix kind of thing. And her name's Lydia and she is special needs. She was born with no eyes. So, of course, yes, she's blind, she can't see, she has no eyes. People ask me that. I made a joke about it before. They're like, oh, so she's blind? I'm like, no, she has no eyes, but she can see perfectly. Like, it's just funny how many people say that. I don't think they it registers when I say she has no eyes. They're like, so she's blind? I'm like, yeah. Oh, boy. Anyway, so I have Lydia. I have two Chinese Cresteds, Little Dude and Luna. Little Dude is going to be 12 this year. Luna is going, is nine. I think she's going to be, is she, no, no, no. Uh, I'm mixing it up. Oh my God. My kids are going to be mad at me. Eliza is nine. She's an Italian greyhound. Luna is seven and Trudy is 16. She's our oldest Italian greyhound. Anyway, so we have two Italian greyhounds. I essentially two Italian greyhounds, two Chinese Cresteds and a Lydia. So I only need like a small pet fountain. New silicone matte smell. I like this because it's got the little flowers on it. I know this is a weird angle, by the way. Um, it's a strange angle because I have the camera set up on one of my floating shelves like this across from me. My sink is right here. This was the best angle I could get so you could see what's going on in this box. I also got, uh, where did I get this from? <laughs> I think I got this on Amazon as well. It's OxyFresh, which I used to use years ago. OxyFresh Dental Care Water Additive. No brushing, just add to water. Freshens breath, cleans te teeth, fast acting, fights tartar. That approved. Just add to water. Add one capful per, per 32 ounces of water. Add every time you fill your pet's water bowl because it matters. So I did get this because I used to use this OxyFresh all the time in the past when I had a lot of Italian Greyhounds. Haven't used it in a while, but Eliza is getting a bunch of tartar on her teeth that the vet mentioned. You know, it's not terrible right now, but we are going to want to keep an eye on it. Her front teeth look great. It's just she's getting some tartar in the back on her molars. So, or was it vice versa? It doesn't 
doesn't smell, doesn't taste. The only thing I'm worried about is this little fountain has a filter in it, and I don't want to filter out whatever's in the OxyFresh, so I'm a little, like, wondering, like, what's up with that. So, okay, this just comes out in one big piece. I did not get the metal, the stainless steel one. Um, this was a trial just trying to decide which one of these I wanted to get, the pet fountains. I went with this one in the end, even though it's plastic, and I kind of wanted either ceramic or I wanted metal. Okay, but I'm going to give this one a try. I'll put the link below, and you know, and you guys can check it out if you're interested in these. I am obsessed with using pet fountains. I don't like just putting down bowls of water. I do have bowls of water around, but I am like really into these pet fountains. This one comes with um, three extra, like, Hmm. filter thingies and one of the things I liked about this one it had the highest reviews but it has different ways to do the fountain so you can actually change the fountain design which I thought was cute not that my daughter my my daughters not that my daughters care my daughter dogs my dogs care but I thought it was kind of cool assembly pump and lid take the bowl and place the pump inside square indentation okay so let me take one of these out and then Here's the top. Oh, and everything is inside. Let me see if I can get it out. Oh, this just lifts off. Here's the spout with the little flower. Cute. So you can kind of have it like a little flower, like sprinkler. Looks like this. I know, isn't it cute? Um, but they also have where you can just take that off and have it just be like a little, you know, basic little fountain. Okay, this is the plug. Well, this is weird. It says to feed power cord. Everything is already done with this, honestly. Um, okay, this is interesting. Maybe these come unassembled. My pump is already in there and the power cord's already fed through. The directions say to do that, but mine's already done. So, all right. Place black sponge inside, square in it, small indentation in the front. That's done. Assembly, filter, and spout. Rinse the charcoal thoroughly with cold water to help remove excess loose charcoal dust. Alrighty, so this is in there, and then we put this in, I guess, and then the filter goes, I have to get this wet, but ooh, this goes here, then the filter goes in, I think like this, it appears, or do I put it this way? No, I think it goes this way. It goes with the, the poofy things up, so let me rinse this really quickly, rinsing the filter. So how y'all doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. I miss Jeremy, um, but at the same time, I have so much to do around here. What's kind of neat about this filter, can I mention, that it's wet. I don't know if you can see it. There's charcoal, charcoal, and two other filters there. So it's got multiple kinds of filters in here, which is actually kind of cool. I have no charcoal dust coming out, so that's nice. I have used filters before that are just a mess. Okay, um, rinse thoroughly, blah, 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 praise... Press down firmly, place spout in and press to lock firmly. So this is the spout and this just snaps in the top. This already is a zillion times easier than my ceramic one. Plus I'm a little nervous about my ceramic one because I go to rinse it in the sink and here it is. But I have a silicone mat because, wait, yeah, I don't want to crack this thing in my sink so it's a little scary. Okay, so that's in there. Lock down firmly. Add water as needed. Max level is on top of is on top of the filter. Connect. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, so this little line right here is the max water level. There's just like a little. It's hard to see it. There's a little line right there. So let me fill this up. Just realize that where this is going to go on the floor, I did not unplug. The plug for my old ceramic one, so I going to get behind my bookcase and unplug that. But I'm just going to show you anyway. I'm going to show you like on my counter what this looks like. Wow, this does hold a lot of water. Still filling, still filling, still filling. Holy smokes! I'm not even close to having this filled. Like, okay, wait. Okay, it's up to the level now. It's up to the water level. I'm moving my camera because uh, you might not... 
I'm going to have to scooch down here. Hi. So this is the fountain, right? Here's the plug. I have to plug it in. Water flow settings. So we have this. Add water as needed, blah, blah, blah. Plug in. If your pet isn't interested in the fountain, remove the flower to create a gentling bubble water surface. So you can put... Ooh, wait. Does this pop off? I'm, I'm confusion. It looks like this comes off. Hold on. It does. I just can't get it because I have no nails. There we go. Okay, wait. Oh, it unscrews. Okay, so you have this part. Oh, wait. Oh, we're down here. So we have this part, this part, and this. So you could put the flower in, and I have to snap it all the way down. Okay, this better not go everywhere. I hope I did this right. <gasps> Cute! Oh my God, look at it. Okay, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. There we go. So there is the fountain. And it's got the gentle bubbly thing like it said. But then let's see what happens when I put the flower thingy, when I put this in. Okay, so you can have a bubble at the top or not bubble at the top. Like so. That's kind of cute though. I kind of like it like that with that little bubble on the top. That's kind of neat. Okay, so then if you take the flower out, I believe it said, yeah, it just bubbles on the top. I'm going to take my camera and just show you what it's doing here. So without the flower in it, it does that, and they can just drink out of here. Or you can snap the flower in, and it does this, which I personally like. Or you can screw this in, and then you just have no sound, and it's really quiet. So there it is. There's my new doggy water fountain. What do you guys think? I like that a lot, but I think I'm going to leave the spout out of it for right now. I might leave this out until they get used to it. So personally, I think I'm going to leave it like this. With just the bubbling so they can drink out of it. I can I think I can fill it a little bit more too. I didn't fill it quite as much as I could. But so that's the new fountain. Ta-da! Honestly, between you and I, I like that it makes no sound. <laughs> what do you think of that? I don't know. I like that it doesn't make any sound. What do we like? Do we like... I like that. That's kind of cute. With the little bubbly at the top, they can, like, drink out of a little water fountain. So then I have... Here's the little mat that it goes on. I can't hold my camera and put this on the mat, I don't think. Can I? It's heavy. Oh, my God, you guys, it's heavy. There we go. All right. So that's what it looks like when it's on the little mat. Got its little silicone mat so you don't splash water all over your floor. And there's the little flower. God, it's like I want to drink out of this. <gasps> I think I love it. So that's my new dog water fountain. And then if I was going to add the water, I, I need to look and see if I can add this. Oxygen and zinc acetate effectively eliminates bad pet breath and helps reduce... I mean, can you use this? I guess I can try putting it in here. I don't think that it would take it out of the water. <laughs> but doesn't it seem weird, like, if I put this in and then it's going through a charcoal filter? I think the charcoal filter just takes out, like, ickiness. So, and I like that this is going to... It's going to rotate through, too, so this will be in there. I really feel like I need more water in here, though. I feel like I didn't put enough water in for some reason. I don't know. I think I can fill it up a lot more. I don't think it's all the way up. I think I can fill it up more. Anyway, I'm going to have to see how the dogs like it. I'm going to put it down and see what happens. <laughs> Um, people have also asked, you know, about me and the doggy water fountains. One of the reasons I like to have a fountain that makes a little bit of noise is that's how Lydia finds the water usually because she is blind, has no eyes. She can hear the sound of the water and she goes to the fountain. So that's more of a Lydia thing, but it's also just really good for their teeth. It's good for everything. There is a hummingbird right outside the window, literally three feet from me. I wish I had my camera on him. I wish I was holding it. I would have spun it around so you could see him. Right on the other side of my kitchen window, right in front of the window, right on the other side of the um, screen, 
there's a hummingbird feeder. So they are right in my window. I can, you know, almost touch them. It's really cool. Anyway, so that's my fountain. What do you think? I'm, I will report back and let you know what the dogs think of it. I think I'm going to leave the little flower top out and I'm going to put it in this drawer. In case I forget where I put it, I put it in my drawer with all my spoons and things <laughs> in the side. All right, so that's that. And uh, let me know what you think of this. Do you use uh, doggy water fountains? Are you interested in a doggy water fountain? I will tell you it was a complete and utter headache trying to pick one on Amazon, though. The thing about the stainless steel ones is I they rust. Okay, stainless steel, I don't care. It rusts. And the stainless steel one that I was looking at was like $85. That was the one I liked. And I'm like, if I pay $85 for this thing and it rusts in a year, I'm going to be mad. And, I, you know, I think it would look cooler in the house. And I like how, like, nice it looks. It looks modern. It kind of goes with everything here. But this one matches the floor. It's gray. It matches the kitchen. So it's fine. So I'm going to try this one. And this one had the most the most positive reviews and the highest reviews of any of them on Amazon. And that's what I was looking for. I, I actually, before I bought it, I read all the reviews and I was reading how easy is it to clean, how well do the parts hold up, how easy is it to get filter replacements, because that's a thing too. And with the stainless, like I like the ceramic, but the ceramic stains because we have our own well. So the ceramic on this bowl has stained over the years. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. See the blue around there? It's just like a buildup from all the years of using this. And I've tried to bleach it out and scrub it out, but there's actually this huge buildup on here that's kind of icky. And again, I worry about on our, now that we have this, this slate floor, even though I have it on a silicone mat, it's just the ceramic makes me so nervous. I'm like one time of bumping it and it's gonna crack or chip. I can't believe I've never cracked or chipped it. I am going to keep that one, but I'm going to see if I can get a replacement pump for it because this thing is so broken. I will show you close up, but this is, <laughs> that whole part of it broke off a long time ago. The whole bottom of it is all cracked right here. It's not terrible. It works. All my dogs I've had have actually drank out of this, which is kind of sweet. I don't want to get rid of it. The other thing is I might keep it down stairs so that when my dogs are downstairs with us they i just dropped that part where'd it go i don't know um i, I just dropped the one part of it and i can't find it oh no oh there it is so i may put it down there but every time i clean this thing it's just it's not easy to clean and when it snaps this snaps together it falls off a lot I also long, long ago lost the filter part of it, so I can't even filter the water that's in this. So that's kind of a pain in the butt too. Sorry, just throwing this away. So that's a pain, but here's the new one. Let me know what you think. Uh, put your comments below, and I will see you in the next video. This is just a little, uh, brand new little thing. I got my dogs, got it last week. I've been dying to set it up. So excited I finally got to. And again, this is the, let me see, where's the front of it? I'll show you the front of it so you can look it up and I will put a link below. It'll probably be a non-affiliated link too. So I'm not going to get anything from this. I'm just sharing it as someone who has trouble finding these things. And if it's good or not good, I will let you know, but it is V-E-K-E-N pet drinking fountain. I like the sound. It's not terribly loud. It's cute. It's a little bit lower profile in the kitchen, so I won't be like tripping on it like with this round one. Kind of fits where our dog water goes really well. I will let you know. I'll report back if I have any problems with it. I'll definitely let you know. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe, please, if you can. I am really trying to get to 600 subs and it's been like a long and painful journey. And oh my God, if you can't find something on my channel that you're into, then I don't know what to tell you because I like to review everything. <laughs> and Jeremy was just here. We did a lot of fun trips around uh, this whole area. I live in the Poconos, so we went to a lot of places to eat and drink. We went shopping. We did a couple of different candle reviews. We did so many fun things. So you're gonna wanna come back for that as well. See Main Street where I live. 
We went to a bunch of places there. We reviewed a, um, two different places we did like full reviews on. Full reviews, like food and beverages. So if you like that, come back. If you like makeup, you're in the right place. I am a retired makeup artist, esthetician, hairstylist, and nail tech. My little hummingbird buddy's back. I'm trying not to scare him. And so I do a lot of makeup skincare content here. And in between that, I do lifestyle stuff because this is my life. I'm retired from doing those things now. And I am a working dog groomer. So, and don't be asking me dog grooming questions because that's not what this channel is about. At least not yet. I may someday do a second channel that's more about my dog grooming and my dog stuff, but not right now. Got too much on the plate. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Have a great day.